Hi guys, this is Stephanie from Rapid Resizer and today I'm going to be making a stenciled doormat. So I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to do that. So I'm going to start by clicking on the draw a design tool and I'm doing this on the draw tool versus the letter stencil maker today um, just to show you guys a little bit more about the draw tool and show you how easy it is to make designs. So I'm going to be arcing my text and I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to type in my words and you'll see what I'm writing in a minute and I'm going to be using a heavier font because I want it to really stand out and I'm going to use the arc tool to arc my text 45 degrees and click add to the design and I'm going to enlarge this a little bit and then I'm going to go click add text again and I'm going to finish my little message here and then I'm going to flatten that out and choose my font and add that to my design. So the draw tool makes it really really easy to make your design come to life and make it really exactly the way you want it. So this looks perfect and now I'm going to print and I want my doormat stencil to be pretty big so I'm going to make it 24 inches wide. It's a little too big. Maybe 20. Perfect. So now you can see that it's going to print on three sheets and I'm going to click print and it's going to give me the preview of my PDF that I will put through my printer. So this is my really simple doormat stencil that I am going to be stenciling onto just a basic doormat using some outdoor black paint and I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Okay so I have my printed PDF of my design that I've just made and now I'm going to just cut it out using an X-Acto knife and a cutting board to get it ready for my stencil. And what I'm going to do for the letters that have a middle section like the O's and the D, I'm going to just get a couple pieces of scotch tape and I'm going to tape them onto my stencil on both sides just to make sure that I don't lose them. And then I'm going to uh, just paint over the little section of tape once I've stenciled with my paint. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this. And now I have secured my stencil onto my doormat and I'm just going to take some outdoor kind of all-purpose black paint. Um, it's weatherproof. Um, I just got it from Home Depot and I'm going to use a paint roller to carefully roll on my paint over my stencil. Um, this might take a couple of coats. Um, I just let my paint dry a little bit before I add each coat and if you want to you can touch it up with a paintbrush also just for the little um, areas where it's harder to get the paint to adhere. So 
Once you've let your stencil completely dry, I'm just going to peel off my stencil and you can see that it will reveal my message. And in the little areas where I used the scotch tape, I'm just going to go through and apply a little bit of paint with a paintbrush on the spots where the scotch tape was to fill in my letters. And this is an easy doormat stencil that I've made using Rapid Resizer to design my stencil using the draw tool. Um, if you guys found this video helpful, please like this video and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel as well as follow us on Facebook, Pinterest, and Instagram. Thanks guys!